Okay, so now let's practice uh, using our calculators here and finding the measures of these. Find the measure of an angle. All right, you're going to be given sufficient information to just uh, use the calculator and, and figure it out, but you have to know what you're doing, right? So, kind of explained that in the first video. All right, so let's say you have number one. Let's say you have a cosine of an angle. What angle will give me uh, five-eighths? Now, you can have it like that, or, or you can also have, I'm going to put number one, right, because it's actually the same problem. Cosine of the angle is, is equal to 0 0.625. So you, you're probably going to, um, you'll have a ratio when you set it up. It'll be like this. Or even if they give you a decimal, it's, um, it's the same thing. Because look, if I do 5 divided by 8, if I do 5, let's see, is this right? 5 divided by 8. 5 divided by 8 is 0 0.625. And when you have like all these decimals or these numbers or whatever, just leave it. We, we need all these digits. Don't, don't like round it off or anything. So again, you, you're probably most likely going to see it like this because of the way the problem's going to be. You'll have, you know, adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Cosine is ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. So you'll have uh, the fraction like this. But even if you see it in this format, where it doesn't have a fraction, but it has like a decimal, it's the same thing, right? 5 eighths, 5 divided by eighths is 0 0.625. So how do we do this? Remember, the understanding is this. This is what's happening. This is what's happening on the problem. But for you, I mean, it's going to seem easy because it's just going to be a couple of keystrokes on your calculator. What you're doing here is... And you might, yeah, you know what, show your work. In order to get the angle by itself, I have to get rid of cosine. Cosine is not a number. You can't divide it. It's a function. So to undo this function of cosine, you use its inverse. Use the inverse. And if you use the inverse here to get rid of it, you have to also do it to this side. Because, you know, this is an equation. Whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do it to the other side. Okay, so when I take the cosine inverse of cosine, cosine and its inverse, what happens to them? They cancel out. They cancel each other out, and that's what we want, because I only want, or we only want, the angle. We want to solve for the angle. The angle is equal to what? Cosine inverse of 0 0.625. I mean, that's what's happening. And then this, you just do on the calculator. This part is all on the calculator. But I want you to show this work because some of you might be doing all this good, but maybe your calculator is not right or you're doing the keystrokes incorrectly. But um, this is why I still want you to leave your answer and show it like this. Okay, how do I do cosine inverse of 0.625? You don't just do cosine of 0 0.625. That's wrong. How do I know that's not right? Because it doesn't have the little negative 1 exponent. You see, it has to have this little negative 1 exponent. How do we activate that inverse again? Well, remember, cosine is the button right here, cosine. If I just push this button, cosine, it's just going to say cosine. I don't want just cosine. I want the inverse. So remember, to activate this, you have to, this one that's up here in this purple, you got to hit this, or blue, you got to hit the blue button, and then, and then the, and then see, there it is. See, now it's, now it's the inverse right there, cosine inverse. And then I punch in these numbers, right, of 0 0.625, 0 0.625. And then you hit enter. What? 
What happened there? 0.625. Oh, there it is. Who scared me? It's 51.3. 51.3 degrees. See it? 51.31 degrees. Yeah, let's make it look like money. I mean, they'll round up a little bit, but 51.3 degrees. 51.31 degrees. You're not going to get perfect angle measures, right? 51.31 degrees. Okay, that's how we that's the value we got for this one. Now let's do it this way, remember? That was if it has a decimal. What if it has a fraction like this? Well, we do it the same way. Remember 5 8 5 divided by 8 is 0 0.625. So I did it right now first with just not having a fraction, just with the decimal like this. And we wanted to find what the angle is. What angle of cosine gives me, gives me 0.625? Well, we said it was 51.31. Oh, let's check it. Let's check it, by the way. We can actually check it. Let's see, cosine, I hit cosine. Cosine of what angle? 51.31. And if you hit equals, Cos, right, because I'm checking this answer, I'm checking this, I'm checking our answer that we got. Cosine of 51.3, it should, it should give me close to this. Let me hit equals, ready, equals. See, there it is, 0.625. So I'm just checking the answer there. All right, let's do it this way. This is mainly the way that you're going to see it. Okay, so I'm trying to find this, I'm trying to solve for this angle. I'm trying to find the angle measure. So what do we do? We try to get the angle by itself. How do you get the angle by itself? How do I get rid of this cosine? By taking the inverse of this side. You take the inverse to get rid of it here, but then you take the inverse on this side also. That's how you undo it, and that's how you get that's how you get the angle by itself. The cosine and its inverse cancel out. You're left with the angle is equal to. And here's the part where it's all calculator. It, the rest is done in the calculator. Five divided by eight. How do you do it when it's a fraction? Well, very simple. Let's let me put here. This is where you go to the calculator. Calculator. Um, I hit the blue button and the cosine. I make sure I get the inverse, cosine inverse of, and then you put five divided by eight. You see? and then make sure you close the parentheses. If it's a fraction, you can type in the fraction, okay? And then you hit enter. And we're gonna get the same answer, 51.31, right? I did the same problem. I did the same problem two different ways, 51.31. All right, so let's look at the same problem that I did two different ways. So just remember, 5 eighths is, 5 eighths is 0 0.625. How do I know? Well, if I just do 5 divided by 8, you see it's, this is in fraction form, this is in decimal form, but it's the same thing. So what did I do here? First, I showed you if you have a decimal number, how do you do it? Well, we take the inverse of both sides. And then here, you just type in whatever that decimal number is. And then we got 51.31. And then on this side, what did I do? Most likely, you're going to have a ratio, like a fraction like this, the two numbers. And I just showed you how to do it. Also this way. You put 5 divided by 8 and make sure you close the parentheses, right? And then you get 51.31. Now, for those of you that have this calculator, Remember, you're going to have to do. Um, you're going to have to do this backwards. You're going to have to do the five eighths first. 
you're gonna have to do five divided by eight, get the decimal equivalent first, and then do what? Then hit the green button, cosine inverse. And there it is, 51.31. I'll do that again. For those of you that have this calculator, remember this is the one where you have to put the angle number, the angle first and then the function. For this one, right? For those of you that have to put the, the number or the angle first, well, the number has to go first. The function is second. So you have to do 5 divided by 8, get, get the decimal, whatever it is, and then remember we have to use this little. Some of you have green, some of you have blue. What was it? Cosine? And then do it that way. All right. Watch the next video for um, another example.